the Executive Director of the Building Trades Council here in Madison, Wisconsin. My job is to help take care of 17 different trades, over 4,000 men and women that work in this area. Hard-working men and women. Do I have some building trades people out there in the audience? I thought I saw some shirts out there. I'm very proud to see you guys here. And again, this is true solidarity. We have office unions here. We have building trade unions here. We have non-union people here. We have union people here. This is a true family. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> now, the reason that we're here is a very serious reason. We're calling this day, the 25th, a day of impact. And the reason that we're calling it that is because we have so many public sector brothers and sisters that have been impacted by Governor Walker's cuts. That's right. yeah. And I can take a good hard look at the Facebook post that we've had for this particular event today and see a very, very long list of people talking about how much has been taken out of their pockets today. Right. We have people that are unrepresented people that work for this state, unrepresented by unions. Their first check is entirely wiped out for this month. Do you call that shared sacrifice? No! Can any people can't hear that? No! I think I heard a hell no. Hell no! That's what I thought. So again, I've talked to so many working people over the last several months about what's going to happen on this day. And they were too afraid to talk about it. I'd say, let's calculate how much is going to be taken out of your check. And they'd say, no, I don't want to talk about it. That's that first effect of denial that you have when you know that something bad is getting ready to happen. And now today we have this fabulous Unity launch down here yeah. at the Library Mall. Yeah. I want to thank the unions that organized that and put that together. We had one of the organizers come into the organizing meeting last night. And she actually came into the meeting in tears because she had just met with the custodial workers for UW and they were sitting there explaining to her how they had to cut their health care in order to have enough money to still feed their kids because of the cuts that are happening to them today. And again, this is not just about union workers. This is about all workers. This will continue to be about all workers until all workers unite and stand up and fight against this. And that is exactly what you people are doing here today. Now the purpose of our demonstration today, and that's exactly what this is, this is a demonstration of your power, the power of the working people of the state of Wisconsin. Can I hear it? showcase people that have been directly affected by these cuts. These are austerity measures. These are austerity cuts. That means that corporations and big banks and corrupt politicians have said, we're going to create this crisis and then we're going to go to the people of this state and the people of this country and we're going to ask you to open your wallets one more time and give more money. And that's exactly what is happening to you today if you're being affected by this. Am I wrong? With that in mind, it's not just the public sector workers that are being affected. It's not just the non-union workers that are being affected. It's going to be that barber. It's going to be that hairdresser. It's going to be that grocery store. It's going to be anybody that has a retail store in this state is going to be directly affected. Up to billions of dollars. You'll show all around the world talking about us, and that's John Nichols. Yeah! 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 The harpy who lives over at 1100 block of Deborah Lane. She's on the call and it's all names again today. You know, and I want you to know, Vicki, that every one of them names I am. I'm a union thug. I'm a. Uh, 
and low rent and low bro and are damn proud of it. And they call St. All of Us is just the union people whining and complaining. That's some friends of mine who work in a non-union plant. Jerry and Vicky Fritton. Standing right there is Vicky Fritton. Nikki, I mean. Nikki Fritton. You know what they said to her at her place of work? Nikki, why do you go up there every Why are you and Jerry going up there every way? Every day. You know what she said? She said, this man harmed my soul. And isn't that a fact, folks? Isn't that a fact? He's harmed every one of us. He's harmed us more than he'll know. You know, and we were talking to some people from Milwaukee who told us, we know he hates Scotty, but they used to call him Skippy in Milwaukee. <laughs> well, I think Skippy and, and Fitz the short and stupid and Fitz the lesser have all been treated too well by us, so we should be back knocking at the door every damn day. <laughs> Second, brother. Yes. I'll tell you one thing. All across this world, they know about Wisconsin. Egypt, they're carrying Wisconsin signs. Greece, they're carrying Wisconsin signs. Syria, they're carrying Wisconsin signs. In London, they had 500,000 people that are carrying Wisconsin signs, yet we can't get free press in this damn country. Why is that? <laughs> That all these years I knew that I had a lot of, uh, that there's all kinds of people that I knew felt like me but I'd never met before. Well, let's have a group handshake, folks. Here we are. We're here. We're not going anywhere. So there's one quick thing that to finish your words is, there's a, there's a quote from this guy who says, uh, a hero is a person who lasts one day longer. And right now I'm standing in front of a bunch of heroes. Solidarity! Solidarity! Solidarity!